All right, she is all reinforced. Uh, reinforced. <laughs> reinforced. Well, it's moving day on the homestead. Going to be moving the meat birds out of the brooder into the chicken tractor today. I'm going to take y'all along with me. So come on along. All right, so I got it in place where I think I'm going to leave it. But before I bring the chickens out, I need to reinforce this a little bit. I got I had some old two by fours that I got stripped down and um, I'm just going to reinforce. I know, buddy. I know. I'm just going to reinforce these these uh, sides like this. So basically, I'm just going to drill this into the bottom to this one just to make it sure that the uh, like raccoons and stuff can't rip this up. I think that's going to work just fine right there. And I'll just cut the end of it off. But anyway, let me get to that. She is all reinforced. Uh, reinforced. <laughs> reinforced. <clears throat> Think she's ready for action. I'll come back and clip all these off. Uh, they may be a deterrent for for some raccoons, though. So I might leave them on there. But knowing me, I'm gonna snag myself probably a fifty hundred times. But I think it's real nice and reinforced, and uh, I think they'll be all right in here. I have a camera that sits over here on the chicken coop. You can't see it now because I took it down because I had to do some fixing with it, but I'm about to put it back out here in just a few. So first thing, I'm going to go ahead and fill up their water. And clean out the little thing in the bottom and then I guess uh, I'll bring your food out here first and then I'll start collecting them all right so this is my brooder setup over here it's got the heat lamp hanging up over there and pretty much just stapled this chicken wire on here and then I cut a spot for the door the door is pretty simple as well. Just two support bars there. Another support bar here for the closing. And then um, a support bar there for the hinges. I am doing a, a blueprint of this and I'm gonna put it up on my website. So be on the lookout for that. I'll, I'll, I'll mention it here as well. So they have been very scary. So I may have to put my phone down and, and grab them. So hang on for a sec. So they're all in there now. I only have six right now. The reason is a local breeder gave me these and they're hatching out some more that um, I can raise as well. These aren't regular meat birds. So these are being bred specifically with the homesteader in mind. So I'll be able to keep a rooster and a hen from this and hatch out more eggs for next year. So next year I can have more chickens um, and whatnot. So that's the plan anyway. 
It's all right. There you go. And there you go. All right, so they are out on ground for the first time. It won't take them long to get used to it though. In there strutting on the ram. That's what I'm talking about. All right, well, let me close it on up and let them get comfortable in here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to fix this waterer. So I have to bring out their other water for tonight. Um, the uh, the bucket broke. It fell off the top there and just shattered into a hundred different pieces. So I'm going to use that other bucket up yonder up there. That's somewhere up there. And um, I'm going to use that bucket to go on there for their water. But I got to make sure I have the right size drill bit <clears throat> oh i see some of them pecking around i don't know how good you can see them through that mesh <clears throat> but there we have it they're over here with the with the big chickens and the really big chickens <laughs> ain't they beautiful I've never raised turkeys before, and man, these turkeys. So those two, um, the two males there are uh, royal palm turkeys, and then the, the three white turkeys are female, or hens, um, broad-breasted, I think is what they're called. <clears throat> I'm very, very new to turkeys, but... I'm enjoying it so far. They, uh, they're in this small enclosure for time being. I'm actually building a turkey habitat for them. I'll uh, probably record some of that real soon as well. But they just wanted to say hi. All right, well, I went on ahead and fixed their waterer, so I gotta find a top for this bucket tonight and something that I can just stick over it. And then in the morning, I might have to go get another bucket top, but it's fixed for now. And they're over there wandering around. So we'll see how it goes. I'll keep you guys posted. All right, well, that's it. They're all in there, they're, look, they're doing good. They're scratching around and, and pecking and probably eating some bugs and stuff. Getting nice and plump, like I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> so, I'm sorry about that. Hey, so, so uh, anyway, if you like the video, hit like, subscribe to the channel. Um, let me know if you like this type of content or not in the comments below. And um, thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.